Soil formation is a cyclic process. On the basis of geological origin, soil can be divided into mainly two groups. Soils of organic origin and soils formed by physical and chemical weathering of rocks. Organic soils are formed by the decomposition of plants and animals residue over time. While soils formed by physical weathering, when large rocks fall from the highlands under the action of gravity, impact, air and water break down into smaller pieces. Some pieces are relatively larger and some are very fine. These pieces are called soils. These pieces fall under the category of gravel and sand respectively. Important thing to note here is that these soils retain the minerals that were present in the parent rock. On the other hand, in chemical weathering, rock decomposes by oxidation, hydration, carbonation and leaching by organic acids and forms finer soils such as sills and clays. Sills are defined as coarser than clays. On the basis of the grain size, we can arrange these soils by gravel having the largest grain size. After that, sand has relatively smaller grains and then comes the silt. And lastly, the clays have smallest grain size. If weathered material or formed soil remain at the place where they were formed, they are called residual soils. And if this weathered material is transported and deposited elsewhere by the action of wind, water, ice or any other agency, then it is called transported soils. Transported soils are further classified according to their transporting agency. And let me show few important examples. Alluvial soils. They are deposited by the running waters like rivers. Lacustrine soils. They are deposited by the suspension in still and fresh water lakes. Marine soils are deposited from suspension in seawater. Aeolian soils, these are transported by wind. Glacial deposits, these are transported by ice glaciers.